Hi there, today I'm going to go through one really important tool that I believe every car owner and especially four wheel drive owner should have in their toolbox. So what actually is an OBD scanner like this? So OBD just stands for Onboard Diagnostics and 2 is the versioning and it's a diagnostic interface. So this connects to your vehicle via this 16 pin connector and it gives information from the car's ECU, so electronic control unit, to any device connected to this scanner, which could be a phone, and that's via Bluetooth. So this product works for Android phones only, so you can use apps like the Talk Pro, which are excellent, and it will give you engine live data, as well as other vehicle data, like transmission for example. But also has the ability to pick up any trouble code, so when you get that engine light up here, you'll be able to scan the ECU and see what actually is that code. Just simply connect to, in this case, our vehicle OBD2 plug is just there. So I've just opened the Talk app on my phone and turned on my Bluetooth and I can get the real-time information. I can scan for fault codes. I can do a whole heap of other things as well. So it will require a first time setup, but once it's set up, um, you don't have to worry about it again. So here I have engine load, the coolant temperature, the battery voltage, engine oil temperature, fuel flow rate in litres per hour, my speed, which is sometimes different to the actual dial on the car and the boost pressure as well as the transmission temperature. Now not all of them will work with your vehicle, it depends on what the manufacturer is willing to release, um, but you can customise this to suit your preferences. So I've got some more gauges here as well like the EGR error, EGR position, um, DPF temperature, DPF pressure. This vehicle doesn't have a DPF but um, if it did then you'd be able to see that and some exhaust pressure gauges, turbo, fuel rates and fuel as well. And then you can just scroll through, you can add your own dials, you can even add a histogram like a log, um, you can see your fuel system status, you can see all the different uh, values that are being pulled up from the vehicle, um, there's like a summary of many different things. And same over here, a GPS positioning, emission readiness and any DTCs, so diagnostic trouble codes, and you can add even more as you so desire. So say for example I'll press the accelerator and you'll see the revs as well as the boost pressure increase. And the good thing is, it'll actually log your highest and your lowest values. So you can see engine load went up to 16.5, which is nothing because the vehicle's stationary. The good thing is you can check up on things like your alternator. Is it charging your battery? Is it doing what it's meant to be doing? Or am I running the engine too hot? So it's a very um, informative way to communicate from your vehicle to you as a driver. So let's just press the accelerator once again. So now what we're going to do is we're going to actually unplug something in the engine and we're going to do a fault uh, scan. So what I'll do is I'll just go back, scan for faults, so it's looking for any trouble codes, which it hasn't found any just yet. So here in the engine bay, got our air cleaner here on our left, barometric pressure sensor. So let's unplug that and see what errors we get. Okay, so that's disconnected. Let's start up the car again. And you can see correctly that the engine lights come on. So when that engine light comes on, now we can actually use our scan tool to see what it is. So we just go to the fault codes. And we'll go refresh. Barometric pressure circuit low. 
and that's correct because we physically unplugged it. We'll reconnect the barometric pressure plug and see if we still get this fault code and I believe we will until we clear it. So we've reconnected the plug but the engine light is still on. And we'll just do clear faults on ECU. Okay. Nothing appears, we'll just do a refresh, make sure it's gone. No faults appear. So that's good, it's doing what it's meant to do. Alright, so let's take the vehicle for a bit of a drive and just see what other values uh, we get here. So I've just taken the car for a spin and you can see the different uh, highest and lowest values that the car recorded along the way. Same with the coolant and the speed and the boost and the voltage. So it's very handy to know. EGR position and error as well. And we just scroll across. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.